Hi everyone, this is Two Youths Transplanted. Hi guys. This video is part of the Pinterest inspired collab hosted by Saver Mom 502. Thank you, Shirley, so much for putting this together. And now let's get started, shall we? The items you will need for this very first project are some rainbow twizzlers, some gold coins, milk chocolate coins, or if you are making this for a bunch of people and need more than what these little coins come because there's, there's not that many coins that come in a package. If you're making it as like party favors or something like that, you'll need a bag of Rolos that would work just as well and they'll look still look like gold. So if you can't find these two also, the Rolos are a good alternative. You will also need these cello bags. You'll need one piece of Twizzler candy in each color. Purple, yellow, orange, red, green, and blue. You'll take each piece separately and put it into your cello bag. And you're going to form an arch and just stack them one on top of the other. And the bag will hold it into place. And once you get all of them into the bag, you can drop you some gold coins or Rolos into the bag at the bottom. And your end result will be a nice little treat a little St. Patrick's Day party favor or treat for someone special and you just tie out, cut off the excess of the bag and it's a little rainbow and gold at the end of the rainbow. So we thought that was a really cute Pinterest idea and Pinterest inspired and we hope that you try it out. Now stick around for idea number two. Our next project idea, Pinterest inspired project idea, is a St. Patty's Day drink. And you could doctor this up to be for, just for, um, for the entire family or you could also spike it up a little bit if you were going to do this for adults but our idea today is just going to be so that everyone can enjoy it so it's a family drink the items you will need are great value this is what we bought but you don't have to buy great value you can buy any brand um, lime sherbet some Bacardi pina colada mixer uh, and this this does not have any alcohol in it. This is just the base for a pina colada, so it does not have any alcohol. And you'll need some sanding sugar. We found this at Walmart, and this came in the four cell container. It has, it has the green, red, yellow, and blue. But if you have the single ones, it's okay too. You just need about at least three or four colors to be able to give a rainbow effect. And then some pretty glassware, and we found this at the Dollar Tree, and this was only a buck and one cup of water. You will need a large mixing bowl. Begin by dumping your lime sherbet and your Bacardi mixer into a, the large bowl together. Begin by mixing your ingredients together on medium speed with an electric mixer. Or if you don't have an electric mixer, you can always use a blender. I, I think that the purpose that they tell you to use an electric mixer for is to allow it to stay a little bit creamy the mixture, so I think that's the reason why I don't really think you using an electric mixer, but we're trying it this way, so we'll let you know how it turns out. Okay, so this turned out pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and rim our glass. Okay, on a small dessert plate, I'm going to take your sugar, and you're just going to make four piles of sugar in the different colors. very close to each other. Like that. And then you're going to take your glass and dunk it into, just barely the very rim, dunk it into the um, St. Patrick's Day drink. drink. And then you're going to Turn your glass over onto this plate and dunk it. Okay, now as you can see, our glass has the, just along the rim, and we're going to go ahead and dunk it. And now we have a rainbow rim glass. Finish your drink with a cute straw. And there you go. I did number two with a Pinterest inspired collab with Saver Mom 502. We hope you guys enjoyed our ideas that we found off of Pinterest. We kind of tweaked them just a little bit, and we hope that you enjoyed this video. 
And thank you for watching. And remember, guys, in this world of chaos, confusion, and heartache, God is always with you. If you're going to pray, don't worry. And if you're going to worry, don't pray. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye, guys.